Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. After a long wait, finally I received this uh, metal block which is casted by a local factory. Um, I asked one of my friends who works in that factory to uh, make this block. Uh, I use it as the main body of the directional coupler double directional coupler uh, here are the main components of the coupler itself uh, here is the central conductor of the coax which will be inserted into this metal block uh, these two male end connectors are just for easier mount because you see I need to push it inside right so uh, we can see that the center conductor locates well inside the transmission line and uh, what we need to do is that we uh, since we need a directional coupler we need to measure the forward power and the reflected power uh, of course if you just want to uh, measure the one side power goes in one side you can just use half of this block that doesn't ma matter uh, but you simply just redesign this uh, geometry construction and uh, what we want to do is that uh, we want this thing to uh, output a measurable signal uh, just uh, from the block so we need, need to use some amplify circuits uh, here is the central conductor which you just have seen and uh, this interesting structure I will uh, tell you about it later and uh, we can see that this RF diode this capacitor which is 4.7 nanofarad and this load, uh, load resistor forms a half wave rectifier circuit rectifying circuit so uh, we will have a voltage here right a positive side here and uh, this potentiometer and this loading resistor just our load and uh, by adjusting uh, the potentiometer we can uh, just um, maybe just uh, use a standard a custom made SWR meter in series with this homemade block and if we know the uh, if we use a standard cable testing cable sorry I don't know how to explain that in English but uh, I guess if you like to watch this video then you must know what I am talking about uh, if you use a standard measure cable uh, to link this block to a standard meter then we can adjust this potential meter uh, to make this block have a right reading uh, also here is the RF a diode for isolation and uh, here are three stage amplifier here is a three stage amplifier and uh, this is our plus supply and this is our signal output it's a very simple circuit uh, for you I guess uh, but the interesting part actually locates here uh, here actually since I need to measure both the forward and reflected power I uh, simply use this board you can see left part and the right part are the same right so what I want to tell you now is the lower part of the board uh, this structure here actually is one of these two right so I simply use the lead the electronic components lead as the coupler 
if I insert this board into this metal block transmission line block you can see we form a directional coupler right one side here another side here uh, the arrow here is just for uh, in case uh, you connect this block to a SWR meter it will uh, simply tell you which direction is a forward direction of course you can use it reversely there uh, is no problem uh, so why do I make this block if we if you watch my previous videos you may find that I have a well-made standard SWR meter uh, but that meter can only measure up to one kilowatt and after some modification it can only measure up to three kilowatt uh, but what I want to do is that uh, in, the, in the coming summer uh, vacation vacation um, I would like to make a 10 to 12 kilowatt uh, RF source which will operate under 10 8 to 10 megahertz not a very high frequency just uh, in the short wave range I want to make that oscillator maybe not the oscillator it's an amplifier a single stage push pull amplifier a solid state amplifier which will generate 10 to 12 kilowatts just using two MOSFETs just to use two switching MOSFETs uh, so I want to measure the power uh, but I don't want to risk uh, my expensive custom customer uh, standard R SWR meter so I made this block uh, as you can see uh, I guess uh, in case uh, it it uh, maybe it may be damaged right uh, because I finally I feel that uh, the distance from this uh, coupler to the center conductor may be not uh, enough for 10 kilowatt but I I think it can withstand maybe 7 or 6 kilowatt with no problem uh, but I will try that uh, in case um, uh, even I destroyed this board I can quickly make a new one right um, this board this board is made by one of my friend which is a engineer but he retires now and he starts his own business so I asked him to make such a printed board for me because uh, I am not good at software so I cannot design a, a complex circuit board even even this easy right maybe it's easy to most of you most of you but i cannot design it on the computer uh, so i asked him to do that job for me uh, i will use this coupler to measure the power and to determine the uh, matching the matching be between my uh, rf generator to the load uh, if you are a fan of my channel you may know that uh, the load will be plasma in the air so uh, I need to know the SWR of the uh, plasma of the generator and the, the plasma load and that is important uh, that's why I made this uh, double directional coupler uh, the, all the left work need to do is just uh, mount four screws on this end connector and mount the left eight screws here which I have uh, which I have these screws here uh, so uh, that's all for this SWR meter and uh, 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 now <laughs> this um, class E oscillator is still working and uh, just uh, CFL fluorescent tube inside the working coil right and uh, I found uh, several days 
ago, I found that、uh, this type of class E oscillator.、Uh, maybe you can find many videos about this oscillator,、uh, but I found a USA patent、uh, PDF document which include this kind of RF generator、uh, used on ICP、uh, spectrum analyzers. Uh, it's very, it's a very、uh, genius idea.、Uh, so I have played with this kind of oscillator,、um, maybe three years up to now. I still think it's a very genius idea and、uh, a very simple, but、uh, it's not that simple as you may think. And.、Uh, What I will use to generate ten to twelve kilowatt of RF power is a push-pull type Class E amplifier, not an oscillator, because、uh, during the loading process of the oscillator,、uh, the feedback、uh, parameter is hard to adjust、um, in such a high power condition. Right, because if we if we use a、uh, capacitive feedback like what I am utilized here,、uh, it's hard to find large capacitance capacit variable capacitors. Although what I mean large capacitance here means a few few tens of nanofarad, but、uh, it's still hard to find that. Uh, that are large RF high voltage or maybe not high voltage but large、uh, RF current rating variable capacitor. It's hard to find that capacitor. And if we use a magnetic or some transformer type feedback,、uh, it's hard to adjust the coupling coefficient under such a high power level. Because the voltage across the cur、uh, across the windings will be high, and、uh, since it's RF current,、uh, it's more easier to burn to you or break down the insulation.、Uh, so I guess that's enough for today's video. And、uh, if you have some some questions,、uh, you can feel free to ask. I will ask your question. Um, if I know how to answer it, so thanks for watching.